Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our F14B Tomcat and we're looking at the ANALE39 countermeasure dispensing set. So that's chaff and flares for the layman. In addition to that we'll be looking at the LAU138 dispenser pods. So the primary way we're going to set the amount of chaff and flare that we carry is going to be here in the mission editor. So let's get our plane, click on it there, our F14. We're going to go down to the end here, additional properties. And we can see we've got two options that we're interested in, the ALE39 loadout. So the way to think of this is this is the internal dispenser system within the aircraft. And it can only carry up to 60 cartridges in bundles of 10. So you can see here we've got 60 flares, 0 chaff, or 30, 30, or 0, 60. Now that was considered not enough, and understandably that's just not enough for a big plane who can do big missions like this. So the Swedish invented this, the LAU-138 Auxiliary Pods. Two of them can be equipped to the F-14 at a time, and each 138 carries 160 chaff cartridges, not flares, this is only for chaff. Now note that these cartridges are at the quarter the size of the normal ALE-39 cartridges, so what it does is it actually fires four at a time from each launcher. So one impulse to the LAU-138 will launch eight of the smaller cartridges together, which is an equivalent to two normal chaff cartridges. I should say at this point that the dispensing system in the Tomcat is very complicated. So sit down, get a coffee, and uh, we'll just go through this step by step. Next thing to point out, it's not completely finished in DCS at the moment. The Tomcat are making this uh, video, March 2019. This dispensing system is not complete and fully working, but it is working enough that we can go through and show 99% of the functionality, and it's all going to be relevant to when it's finally implemented and fixed. So the ALE-39 is automatically on the aircraft and we're going to set it with 30 um, cartridges of flares and 30 cartridges of chaff. Here is where we can fill the LAU with chaff. And to equip the LAUs, we go to here, we go to equipping screen and what you would do is uh, they are on balloons 1A and 8A, we would go to air to air and equip one of the sidewinders and you see it's got the LAU-9 mounting rack. It's actually that mounting rack is the dispenser pod, the LAU-138. Now, first of all, to keep things simple, we're not going to have the LAU-138. We're just going to run through the ALE-39 operation. Then we'll come back to the mission editor. We'll equip the LAU-138, and then we'll go through it with them. Okay, so let's save up and get in the cockpit. Okay, we're in the cockpit now. Now, the first thing I want to do is show you the actual dispensers underneath the aircraft. So let's jump outside. And if we look at the underside of the beaver tail now, between the two thrust nozzles, we can see two matrices of cartridge dispensers. The front one has 30 and the rear one has 30. Now the front one is actually called the left one, the rear one is actually called the right one. That dates back to the predecessor on the F-14A. So in this case I'll have the front 30 as flares and the rear 30 as chaffs. Now we split these down further into quarters. So the first 15, the first front 15 of the front matrix is called Lima 10. The rear half of the front matrix is called Lima 20. The front half of the rear matrix is called Romeo 10. The rear half of the rear matrix is called Romeo 20. And it's important that we remember that because that's how we're going to be setting these up. Okay, so the next thing we want to show are the buttons, the joystick controls, or the ways that we can actually fire these countermeasures. And it, again, it's quite complicated. So we're from the pilot seat, adjust controls, and all we've got here is DLC toggle forward slash countermeasure dispense. This is a button that's on our stick, and it will fire one chaff or one flare, depending on how the Rio has set a certain switch. And we'll look at that in a bit. Next, we're going to go back to the Rio, where the rest of the work's going to be done. So back here, we've got two ways of firing these. And we first got the handlebar up here. So if you imagine the Rio would be holding onto this handlebar with his hand in a fight, and he's got this that he can move with his thumb, and this that he can move with his thumb. Two switches are essentially mirrored, so he can use either of them. If he used the up position in one of these four-way switches, it would fire a single chaff cartridge. If he's down, it would fire a chaff program. And what we're going to see soon is that we can either fire chaff and flare in programs or in singles. If it were inboard, i.e. towards each other, then it would initiate jammer cartridge, and we'll go over that in a bit. And outwards, i.e. away from each other, then it would initiate the flare ejection program. Okay, and we could use either of them. Um, we do have bindings for them, we better show as well. So we're gonna go to the Rio here. 
And then we're going to go to search, uh, search for dispenser. And it's these guys here. That is uh, the left switch, four-way switch. That is the right four-way switch matching up with uh, what I said there. And finally, we go down to the actual panel itself. So I'm framing, well, if you want to look at the whole ALE 39 panel, it's what I'm framing here. And another way to dispense these cartridges is with these switches here, actually pressing them with your mouse and we'll go through them shortly. So first of all, apologies, it's quite hard for me to turn my head like this, so there will be a lot of moving about, we'll just have to get used to it. So let's go through this logically. First we're going to look at the programming panel, which is this half here. This is where we set the programs for firing our chaff and our flare. Now at this point I have to mention we've got chaff, flare and jamming cartridges. Jamming cartridges are currently not implemented in DCS. They may do in the future, but currently they're not. So we can just ignore the jamming cartridges at the moment. Out of interest, if you know actually what the jamming cartridges are, I don't actually know what they are in real life. I would like to know that. Next, we go to setting up our programs for our chaff and our flare. So the blue ones, the blue wheels here are for our chaff. And the first thing that we're going to set is our burst quantity, which is this here. So we get bursts, which is a burst of a certain number of chaff. And then we get something called a salvo. A salvo is a certain number of bursts in sequence. So let's say we want to set up a burst of three chaff. And I should say as well, as well as um, the number, we've also got C for continuous, where it just keeps going until we run out. And R for random, which is as it says. Other than that, we get one, two, and four. So, actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go for three quantity in my burst. My burst interval is in fractions of seconds, I can have between these being fired. So, I could fire these three with an interval between them of 0.1 seconds, 0.2 seconds, 0.5 seconds, 0.7 seconds. Uh, the actual milliseconds are slightly different to what I'm saying, but it's near enough for this video. And one second or random again and I'm using left mouse to go that way mouse button and right mouse button to go that way sorry it's a little bit hard for me to do this so I've decided I want to go 0.2 seconds between each one of these next we're going to set up our salvo quantity so how many times do we want to fire this burst here and with how many seconds between each burst I want to do that burst twice so my salvo is two and I want three uh, no two uh, I could have two four six eight or ten seconds between each burst I'm going to go for two seconds so with this program in mind it's going to fire the chaff three times with 0.2 seconds in between wait two seconds then fire the burst again next let's set up our flare program this is a bit simpler we have bursts only we do not have salvos how many flares do I want to fire and how many seconds in between each firing so burst size we can have two up to ten so I'm going to go for four, and I want two seconds in between each firing. So the burst is four flares with two seconds in between each. Next is the jammer cartridge program. This here is the jammer cartridge program. We're not going to go over it because jammer cartridges are currently not implemented in DCS. Now we've got our quarter set up here. Now you remember I split the cartridges in the AL39 on the beaver tail into four quarters. Here are those four quarters, Lima 10, Lima 20, Romeo 10, Romeo 20. We've got to tell the system here exactly what type of cartridge is loaded in to that quarter. Because the system can't automatically detect what is loaded into that quarter, we have to tell it. So Lima 10 and Lima 20 are the front ones or the left ones, and they're both flares. Romeo 10 and Romeo 20 are the chaffs, the 30 chaffs. So I need to change this. Before I change this, I need to reset the counter. What I'm going to do is click and hold left click on the reset for five seconds. This resets the internal counters. Then I'm going to change Romeo 20 to chaff. Oh, I should say we can have flare, jammers, which we've talked about, or chaff. So we've now got our 30 chaff set up in our quarters and our 30 flare set up in our quarters. It may be in the future that this is turned to be automatically, but currently it has to be set manually. Out of interest, if I hadn't changed this quarter to chaff, then it would have thought they were flares and it would have fired them under using the flare button. So that was the programming channel. Now, so that was the program panel. Now we go to the control panel. First thing to note, we have a counter for the chaff, flare and jammer cartridges. So we can ignore jammer. So just chaff and flare. Now note it's got the amount wrong, just like we had with the quarters here. So we are going to have to set these 
to the correct amount so that we know how many we've got left now changing this counter here doesn't actually change how the chaff and flare is going to fire how the chaff and flare is going to fire we can set this to naught if we wanted the chaff and flare will still fire exactly the same but it's for us to know it's for the pot rio to know how many we've got left so we want to set it accurately and we're going to set it to 30 each now it is accurate again in the future this may be changed so that when you load up and load into a mission this may be done for you but at the moment you have to set it manually by the way to do it i was hovering over the button there and using mouse scroll wheel next is the dispenser button so this is another way we can fire these so we've got chaff here if we press left click there it would do a the button would move down temporarily and it would fire a single chaff if we press right click it would move up and it would fire our program that we set there once flare same thing right click uh, sorry left click single right click program jammer not irrelevant at the moment but it would be the same we've got the master mode do we want the system off do we want it manually controlled or do we want it auto and manually controlled if it's off it's off if it's manual then it's controlled by the three different methods i've told you today to control them if it's whoops if it's auto like that then it can be controlled manually by the three ways that we've talked about today but it also can be controlled by the rwr here so like in the a10c for instance if we get um, spiked by this sa6 which we will do in a bit later it will automatically select the right program and start chaffing for us it will never flare for us it will only chaff so for the time being to save confusion we'll just go back down to manual next is the salvo flares or the jettison the like to call it so if you want to fire all the flares off at once you press and hold this presumably it's for an emergency and it will fire all the flares off with 0.125 seconds in between them next is the flare modes do we want it multiple normal or pilot control so this is regards to flares only if we have it in normal then the pilot cannot access the flares out of interest if it was in this mode then the pilot's dispense button will fire one chaff only and we still have manual control of the flares here if we do a single fire with the flares it will fire one flare multiple is similar in that the pilot cannot fire the flares he will fire one chaff only at a press of his dlc but in this case if i press a single here if i press left click here and fire a single flare it would fire a single flare from each quarter equipped with flares we currently have two quarters equipped with flares therefore it would fire two flares next is pilot this means that we can fire one single flare here manually and the pilot can also fire a flare so instead of firing a chaff the pilot with his dlc will now fire one times flare with the press of the dlc i believe that this is the default mode for the rio to have so now we can start firing some cartridges i've got active pause on at the moment just so i can uh, concentrate without worrying about the sa6 so the first thing we're going to do is fire a single chaff one chaff gone 29 left then we're going to fire a single flare single flare gone 29 left now we're going to fire our blue program of chaff so that's going to be right click here and that's our program as we talked about it next we're going to fly our program of flares okay uh, we could fire do the same thing using these buttons here as I showed but I haven't actually set them up in my controls yet you just have to take my word for it that uh, you can do that at the moment the next thing I'd like to show is from the pilot seat so if we press the DLC button as we saw before and you see it's fired one flare now we go back to the Rio seat and we go to normal mode for flares back to the pilot seat that's now fired one chaff back to the Rio seat and you can see we have 22 chaffs left and 24 flares left so the next thing I'd like to do is show the automatic mode here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to become the pilot. I'm going to fly into that SA6, let it spike us. And then you'll see that the um, RWR is going to take control of this system. Now, out of interest, we can still control these manually and it will be an auxiliary to the RWR control. Put that back in the default mode. So let's get on with it. So currently the SA6 is just painting us. It's not spiking us. So burners on. Let's go and get him. Mud, 12 o'clock. Okay, he's now spiking us. No chaff yet from the RWR. But I didn't mention earlier, the RWR will only control chaff. It will not control flare because it's a radar-based system. Singer, singer, 12 o'clock. Where is the missile? And I noticed that the chaff is not firing, which is 
frustrating because it did last time I tested this, but never mind. Let's push on. I'm going to go back to the Rio and just turn that switch on and off again and see if we can get it going. Uh, ah, it's reset itself. There we go. So you can hear it's now chaffing at what it thinks is the best uh, cause for beating this missile. Make sure we beat this missile. The sink rate is too high. And there we go. The missile warning is gone and the automatic chaffing has stopped. Right. So the next thing we want to show is with the addition of the Lao 138 pods. So back in the mission editor, click on our guy here. Click on his armament. We're going to add a air to air 9, aim 9 mic with the Lao 138 dispenser. Save this, back in the cockpit. Okay, we're back in, we've now got the Lao 138 on. Now the first thing to point out is that currently it's not modeled in DCS. So you can see there that it's not a Lao 138 launcher. They look different to that. They have a big fanned out tail and, uh, and, and other differences. So what I'm talking about is the pylon that the uh, Sidewinder is mounted on. So I'm sure that would change uh, in the coming few weeks. So the next thing to point out is that the quarters have now changed. So the two uh, front quarters or the left quarters L1, L10 and L20 are still the same but the R10 and R20 are no longer the halves of that rear matrix at the beaver tail. Instead that rear matrix is now R20 that is the rear that is the R20 quarter and the R10 quarter is now both of these Lao 138 pylons and when we're back in the Rio cockpit here we want to make sure that this guy, this wheel, the Lima 10, is always set up as a chaff because this is the two Lao 138 launches now. Excuse me, I'm just trying to get it. And this this here, the R20, is now the entire rear matrix, matrix of 30 chaff cartridges in the ALE 39 internal dispenser. Now, what this means for the total number of chaff is that we've no longer got 30. If you ignore the number here, remember we equipped 30. Well, we've no got, longer got 30. We've now got 30 plus 40. And the reason it's 40 is because, remember, each of those Lao 138 takes 160 mini cartridges, a total of 40 dispensing cartridges, and they fire at the same time. So that basically gives us 40 more firings, or 40 more cartridges, 40 more impulses total. So with the L 138s on, we no longer have 30. We now have 70. There it is, like that. Now note that this counter only goes up to, if I can get it here, 79. So if we had, say, 60 chaff cartridges on the ALE 39 internal, plus 40 external cartridges on the Lao 138, that would be a total of 100 impulses, and we couldn't actually put it on here. Again, it doesn't matter. That's just, this is just a counter at the end of the day. If, even if it got down to zero, it would still fire the remaining 21. Okay, so that's all I've got on the ALE 39 internal suite and the Lao 38 external pods at the moment. Things will change over the next few weeks and I'll update this video as I need to. But that's how we've got it at the moment. Note that you can also rearm the dispenser cartridges on the ground through the armaments window, but that is currently not working properly as you'll see as you'll go and do it again. That'll be fixed in due course. I hope that helps and see you later.